Hi everyone, this is James from ES Sabres. So today I was going to go through on how to assemble your crossguard sabre. Slightly different to our standard straight sabres, because uh, you'll have to put the side emitters on and the top emitter on, on your crossguard. Um, so when we're assembling this, what you want to do is grab one of your emitters. So there's two side emitters and one emitter for the top. You're going to put it onto the thread okay, and just screw it on. So you should feel it start to pinch when you've got it tight. As soon as you have, just give it one good push, okay, and that, that's fine, okay. I'm going to do the same with the side ones now, okay. I'm just going to screw those in. And when I'm doing this, I need to be fairly careful because these sections here, the LED or the POGO housing unit. So if I start to screw this on, okay, I can start to feel it pinching around now. If I carry on twisting, I may then start to twist the housing unit here. And what you can then do is if you keep twisting, keep twisting, you'll pull the wires and catch the wires inside. So what you want to do is as you put this on is maybe just hold this section, okay, and then twist. Okay, now I feel that pinching so that, that's on fairly tight now. Okay, I don't need to go more than that. So I don't want to carry on twisting now from this bit here because it will start to twist the, this uh, housing unit. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Start to screw that on. Okay, again, just hold that section. And twist that, okay. So what you may notice, you've got your cross guard together. Okay, before you put the blades in, you want to have a look at these side emitters. You can see, doesn't bother some people which way they're facing, okay, but I know a lot of you will want these symmetrical. So if you find that when you've twisted it and screwed it on, uh, it's out of line, then what you need to do is take this back off. So again, we're gonna hold this LED or POGO housing unit. We're gonna to start to untwist this, unscrew it until it comes off. Again, the reason I was holding that, because if I start to unscrew it, I may actually end up unscrewing this piece. And this is the piece we don't want to unscrew because you've got your either your LED in here or your pogo pins. So as soon as you start unscrew this, this will pop out and then the wires will come out. And I know when people are doing backup, they catch the wires. So again, on the other side, hold this. Start to undo it. Okay, so to line these two side emitters up, what we're going to do is put a couple of these metal rings on, these metal washers. So what this will do is space them off slightly so you can start to line it up. So I'll show you one side. So if we want to get this in line, okay, with let's say the button. So I would say that's facing slightly off, okay. So what we need to do is maybe add one washer in and this should line it up. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to grab one of these washers, metal rings, put it over the thread, and then just screw it back on. So that now has lined this up. Okay, so if I do that with the other side, and screw it on. Let's have a look how far we're off. So we want that to be about there. So maybe two or three. I'll go for three. And then screw that back on. So this can sometimes take a little bit of trial and error getting this correct. You may need to take a washer off or add an extra washer on. Okay, yeah, that's probably got it just there. So now you see these two are lined up, okay, using those washers. I can do this again for this part that help the grip. So if I want this grip to line up like so, okay, then I just need to add a washer in at the moment. It's kind of side on, so I'll just do that now. So I'll take that off, I'll add 
one washer on. So that screw that back on. And it hasn't quite lined it up, so I'd probably need to add a, an extra one or two washers onto it to get that fully lined up like this, okay? When you've done that anyway, you can then look to put the blades in. So what you're gonna do, take your small blades, you're gonna take the cellophane off these, okay? Insert the blade into the side emitter, okay? And then what you're looking for, these two threaded holes here. So there's one here, and if I flip it upside down, there's also one there where my thumb was. So, so you should have had a bunch of screws with your sabre, you're just gonna put the screws in. You can use a small Allen key that's provided. Okay, so with this one, I'm just gonna hold the blade in as I screw this up. You know, just pinch it slightly, get the second screw, flip it over. Put this screw in as well. Okay, these can be a little bit fiddly. So just take your time with these, okay? Try not to put them in one key because what will happen is you'll cross thread them. And if you keep taking them out and then putting them back in when you've cross threaded it, you'll just wear, either wear down the screw or wear down the thread. And then you'll find they'll stop going tight after a while. So ideally, when you've got these in, I'd recommend just leaving the saber all, all put together uh, and try and avoid taking out the screws and putting screws back in each time. Okay, so one way I can tell if this is now working, I just turn it on and turn the side on. Okay, so I'm going to do the same now for the other sides. And then when I've got these in, I'm going to do the same for the main blade. And when you are tightening these, don't over tighten them. Just get them until you start to find that they pinch and then just tighten it just slightly more than that. Okay, so again, I'll test that. Both sides working. And then I'll put the, the main blade in. Like so, push it in, it's not quite firm. And then on this top one, I'm just going to flip it over and again looking for those threaded holes. Just here. And yeah, flip it over. You see, I haven't actually taken the the wrap off this blade. So just trying to keep this blade in good condition, not use it. It's a problem when you have so many sabers, you end up <laughs> keep using blades, brand new blades to do videos and show people and do demonstrations. Okay, that one's tight. That's uh, tight. Okay, so I'll this off. Just pull okay, so that's my blade all put together, or my, my cross guard all put together. So you can see it took, it took a little bit of time then. Uh, I, I've done quite a lot of these now, putting them together and taking them apart. Uh, and even though um, I've done lots of them, it can still take a while putting it together, trying to line up the emitters, and make sure that you're using those metal rings to line them up, and also with the, the guard, um, the grip here. So when that's all put together like so, Test it by pressing the button, turning it on, everything should be working. Okay. So I hope you found that useful on how to assemble your cross guard. If you've got any questions, uh, just leave a comment or drop me an email and I'll get back to you. Okay, thanks guys. Take care. Bye.